The oceans cover over 70% of the Earth's surface and contain 97% of the Earth's water. In the shallow shelf seas, such as the North Sea, the depth ranges from about 30 meters in the south to about 800 meters in the north. Typical depths in the ocean basins are about 4 kilometers, while at the deepest points, such as in the Marianas Trench, the depths reach to over 11 kilometers. The oceans form a global reservoir of heat from solar radiation. As the Earth orbits the Sun, it absorbs this solar radiation, which then becomes converted into thermal energy, or heat. At higher altitudes, the angle of incidence is increased resulting in less intense irradiation and reduced heating. This effect can be seen in the global sea surface temperature. Higher temperatures are found at the equator and lower temperatures at higher altitudes. Heat differences drive the circulation of both the atmosphere and oceans. This has a significant impact on the climate and therefore on all life on Earth. The more intense heating at the equator causes the air to rise and move towards the poles in the upper atmosphere. Here it cools and descends. The complete cycle forms a convection cell. On a stationary Earth, the convection cell would extend from the equator to the poles. The latitudinal distribution of heating by solar radiation and its redistribution by the major atmospheric circulation cells leads to distinct zones of evaporation in the tropics and distinct zones of precipitation at the equator and at mid-latitudes. This results in a latitudinal distribution of salinity with generally saltier water near the equator and fresher water near the poles. In addition, in semi-enclosed seas, such as the Mediterranean, excess evaporation can lead to increased salinity. In regions near the equator, a band of lower salinity is also found due to the excess precipitation. Rivers discharge fresh water into the ocean through estuaries and form river plumes in the coastal ocean. In these regions of freshwater influence, ROFIs, significantly lower salinity is found. For example, along the Dutch coast, the Rhine ROFI transports river water from the Rhine northwards towards Germany and Denmark.